YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. As you can see, we are perfectly set up to earn ourselves the level 7,700. How high can I get before they reset the level in the progression update? I would love to get the 10,000, but I don't know if that's going to be the, if that's going to happen, but we're going to be trying for it. Uh, and this is going to be one uh, of the level challenges that we always do. We're going to be doing a photo randomizer. We're going to do it on Tanglewood. Uh, a photo randomizer is where you start with absolutely no items and every time you take a correct photo you get another random item so it leads to some very crazy weird games we're gonna do it on nightmare mode it's gonna be a big challenge i hope you join me if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it, dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go do it Alrighty. well besides taking photos so you start with a photo or a, a flashlight and all the photo cams you can take photos that show up in the book they give you an item, or you can finish an objective, which all these objectives actually require other items. So if we don't get those items, we're not going to be able to get the uh, uh, any objectives done, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. We are on nightmare mode, which means none of this. It's um, it's hard. It's a hard challenge, especially uh, if you get unlucky. So let's hope we don't get unlucky. Our cursed item will be the first photo we get. What's it gonna be? Tarot cards would be insane. It's not tarot cards. Something like a ghost or like a summoning circle would be crazy, but it's not. Oh my god, it's gonna be the voodoo doll. Uh oh. Or the music box. Voodoo doll would be so troll. Actually, might be insane. Might be the one challenge where getting a voodoo doll is not the worst thing in the world. Because we can, I mean, we're gonna be losing sanity, yes. But we can use the voodoo doll to get interaction photos, which is actually kind of good. Now, first though, let's get the bone. Because there's gotta be a bone somewhere on this map as well. And that will be another photo. Then we'll get two items. We'll see what we get with that. Hiding spot anywhere. No hiding spot there. Can you give us a sign? What's your name? Paul Anderson. Mr. Anderson. There's a bone. Okay. Boom. Let's get outside and roll our soul. Oh, let's drop the soul in here. We're gonna go get two items. So these are random items. We're gonna be asking the bot what our items are. What are our random items going to be? We're gonna get a thermometer well if we can't find the ghost room that's gonna help us with that at least at the start this is kind of useful and a crucifix which is not an objective but it'll allow us to i mean stop two hunts which can be somewhat okay let's get in there with this and this this will be okay at the start at least not the worst not like two sound sensors which would be awful there's a few photos or there's one photo that we can take that will give us two items if we can get the ghost photo somehow We'll, uh, we'll be allowed to get two items because it's such a cool or such a rare photo to get. Wait, this room is 22 degrees? That room was 11 degrees. Is that suspicious or is that just me? Gavinator, thank you for the tier three. Fema Space, thank you for the 100 bitties. And Insanity, thank you for the 10 donation. Thank you. It's pretty cold. Not too cold, but kind of. All right, can you give us a sign? In Aha. Okay, so it was one of these doors. Now, I don't know which one exactly. So I'm just going to take the photo like this. Unless it was the door. Oh, no. We got him. Now, we know no fingies, but we are on Nightmare once again. Um, so it might it, it might still be a fingerprints ghost. But we did get... Oh, it's hallway. All right. Let's get another one. The, they have improved photos so much. We're going to be able to get lots of photos here. So we got two more photos now. It's blinking lights over there and over here. Interesting. Let's roll. Whoa, Gavinator. Thank you for the 10,000 bits. Holy shit. Thank you. Let's see. Salt. Amazing. That's the only... That's an item that gives you two extra items. So you can get salt and then you can get footstep photos, which gives you two items. That's insane. Motion sensor's not the best. Uh, another photo. Dude, we're killing it. We're killing it. Let's get another item. What's it gonna be? I mean, Paramike? 
the changed paramic actually not too they have made a lot of items like i mean the the paramic is a lot better now um and the fact that we won't get freezing makes the thermometer actually kind of nice because we can now use that to track the ghost. We have salt as well as this. Now we don't have any UV light, so I might wait a little bit on doing this. Just maybe to see if we can get a UV. We can do it without. If I get a ghost event, I'll probably just place the salt under the ghost feet. Let's place this here. Okay, could you give us a sign? Now we have a ghost in this area. Let's see if we can get... All right, how many photos have we taken? Oh, we can still take one more interaction photo. There's a limit to how many photos you can take of one type. Interaction photo is the is the one type you can take four of because, and we don't allow any more because otherwise you just take 10 interaction photos and have all the items. We want to keep it spicy. We want to get different items or different photos. Another motion sensor, this is not, I mean, we would like it like one evidence item. <laughs> that would be kind of nice, but I mean, you can't always decide what you get. All right, Wicked Witch, thank you for the prime. Yeah, let's uh, let's hover the paramic for a little while. I'm gonna place this over here. See if it leaves. Let's hold the paramic. Ghost photo will be awesome. Wait, we've already taken six photos. Wow, we're we're going fast. That's me. Thank you for the prime. Vice Festival, thank you for the two hundred bitties. And KJ with the ten thousand bits, man, KJ. <laughs> Woo. Thank you so much for like 20,000 bits today. You were absolutely bananas. Thank you so much. Okay. It yelled at us. Now we've done some testing before. A mimic will talk to you about, on average, every 30 seconds. When you're holding the paramic, pointing it at the ghost, every around 30 seconds you will get something that... <sighs> That was kind of 30 seconds. Maybe could be miling. Actually, actually based paramic. Let's see. Do we get another one in like 10, 15 seconds here? Give it to me. It's right over here. It's it's still there. It's not talking. It's been a, it's been a good thirty seconds. A mimic can do a banshee scream, but it's incredibly rare. But it can do it. Yes, for sure. All right. It might have been uh, just a fluke that it talked, or it might be a fluke now that it doesn't talk. I love the sounds. One of the sounds is actually CJ's girlfriend reading the B movie script backwards. <laughs> The more you know. Thank you guys for the support. Fifi, thank you for the seven months. All right, nothing is happening. So maybe not a miling, or it might have moved, but for that we have this. Now, in terms. It turned off the light. Did a ghost event? Never mind. That was a high ghost event, not an oni. It just did a non oni ghost event. We did get hit by it, which means we lost some sanity. Um, that's okay, though. So it's not an Oni, and probably also not a Shade, because a Shade cannot do Ghost Events. Whoa! Okay. Looking like a, a, a mare, maybe? That was a mare thing to do. I couldn't... It's so active. It's crazy active. Can you give us a sign? I would love to see you. Light's broken here. Now, in terms of, there's some, a bug in the game right now that if you turn on the light here, it still considers the room as being light for like hunts and stuff. Like the mare will still only hunt. It will, it will still consider the light on even though it's not actually there, like the light's broken. So that's something you can do. But for spare box, you also need to turn off the broken light. So be careful. Um, is it in the living room? It's, it's gonna be hot in here. Wait, no, it isn't. Wait a minute, is it broken or is it actually just here now? Wait, it's hotter here than it's in the living room. Am 
And the thermo is actually helping so much. Is it though? Can you give us a sign? It's, that, it's still around here, but it's like touching these corner stuffs, which is like close to the living room. So maybe it's here. Can you give us a sign? It's rumbling a, like it's walking a lot. Ooh. Hey. Whew. Okay, that's good though. That's very good, but also that that made me jump. But that is very good. That is the ghost photo. We also gained information. Not a phantom, and it showed itself properly. And it did another ghost event, so probably not a shade. We already know it's not an Oni. Um, let's see. What do we get? We get two items. This better be something good, because we need something. That's the third motion sensor. Dots. Fuck yes. Our first evidence item. Jesus. Why do we get... I mean, we got the maximum tracking build here. We need to place these properly and just track... Just have all the information we'll ever need. Like, we, we know exactly where this ghost is. We got all the sensors, baby. We have voodoo doll. We could use dots and voodoo. Wait a minute. What if we... I mean, we could also use patience, but patience is for babies. <laughs> Not really. Pa babies don't have a lot of patience generally, but... We could force... We could wait for writing, but now the fact that we, we do, would have to get writing, you know? Okay, so it's actually around here, or was that me? Okay, so it is here. I don't know if it's in the living room. We need to pinpoint. We need to pinpoint. Before we start going crazy with this, we need to pinpoint. I think it's living room. Yeah, it's living room. Okay. So we're gonna place... We turned off the light. Please don't be ghost event. It's not a ghost event. Okay. It was just turning off the lights, which is... Uh, doesn't really tell us anything about any ghost. Well, what we can do now is we can place this and this. You can place the motion sensor right there. And then as soon as it steps on the motion sensor, I can pull the pin and get dots. How about that? This sounds like a plan. I will also just instantly die if it's a... Uh... Okay, here it goes. Come on. Wait, are you going in here now, you piece of garbage? Oh, come on, man. It's roaming so much. It's te the, the, the good part about the fact that it's roaming so much is that we probably don't have to be too scared that it's a Gorio, and we won't be able to see the dots. Now, it might just not be dots, you know? So it might be bad. Where is it? Mare? Well then. Holy shit. Okay. Step on it. Come on. I'm right clicking as soon as you step on this motion sensor. It's gonna be an instant heart pin. I'm gonna scream and die. We're not getting early hunted, so it's probably not a demon. We also know it's not a combination of fingerprints. Okay, let me look. It's also not any of these ghosts. It's not a Jin Hantu or the Mimic, probably, because both those evidence are not showing up for us. No freezing, no fingerprints. Now, it could hide one of them, but it couldn't hide both of them. You can't pick what pin to push, no. It, oh, fuck! I just... All right, we have to wait. God damn it. I just dropped it to see if it was still here. Come on. Come on, baby, do it. Step on that motion sensor. You know you want to. Yes. I'm here, I'm, I can be here all day, baby. Oh my God, it worked! Holy shit! It actually fucking worked, bro! Dude, <laughs> let's go, what? Holy shit. We know it's not a phantom. We know it's not an Oni. We have salt for Wraith. We have Paramike for Banshee. We have doors for Yurei. We have sound for Yokai. And we have our dying for Raichu. Actually, actually the strat. 
place we got the motion sensors for a reason after all it's all coming together baby okay now it's been walk do i even have photos left i do okay uh i'm gonna do this over here one one so because it's been stepping in front of this dots again okay so it it is doing that Wait, what? Did, did you just take one of these? What the hell? No. It, it's stepping. Okay, it stepped right in front of this motion sensor. I'm just gonna back up and take this photo. Wraith? Wait. It might be Wraith. We don't have a UV, so we have to use our photos. It's not doing any salt anymore, though. I'm waiting. Come on. No! Come on. Do feet. Do feet. A ghost event. <gasps> Fuck, I am gonna take another photo here. It's not, it's might actually be a wraith. But like, where the fuck are the feet, man? It might actually be a wraith, like straight up. Okay, I have to place again. Okay, come on. We got one more chance. Okay, listen. Not a not a right shoot it seems. It's just walking like normal. We're down. That was also not an early hunt, so I'm not thinking yokai here. Obviously not Goryo. Banshee, we had the paramic for a while. Okay, here goes, please. Do it, man. What? Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's gonna be in there. Oh, no. It's doing dots. It's out here. Step in the salt, please. Do it. It's over here. Just walk in front of that salt. Just give it to me. Or scream. This is this is the game. This is a good one. Because this is this is why this is such an interesting challenge. Because you get like a such a random assortment of tools that you just have to you just have to deal with whatever the heck you're given. We just got a crucifix charge. Double. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's walking over there. This is, can you please step on the salt over here, sir? I mean, it might just be a wraith. Because we definitely... We definitely have footsteps in front of the motion sensor. And I took a photo of the whole area and didn't get any. Now it's either, it's either another ghost that just doesn't do any feet, but the Wraith also has less chance to do feet. Like. It's never been Banshee yells. Only just normal shit. Come on. I'm staying a bit away from the ghost because I don't want to just get hunted right on top of me. Are you serious? It's spamming. Okay. 
don't have a smudge or anything. It's the fucking instant I'm here ghost. <laughs> Luckily, it can't step in salt when it's, uh... It can't step in salt when it's in, um, the hunting mode. It can only step in salt during the passive mode. Okay. That been it, man. This is all we need. This is, like... I mean, it seems to be a wraith. Just step in the salt. That's all I'm asking. It's through... It's not a banshee. It's not a banshee. I don't... It definitely stepped right away. Okay, I've got to just do this. I've got to do this. Take a photo. It's a wraith. It has to be. It has to be. It walked around. We heard footsteps without the paramic. And it, and it didn't show. And it didn't give a photo. It has to be a wraith. We just got... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Go, 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 go. And it has lost me. It's lost in the sauce. Now, the unfortunate part about this is that we got so unlucky with the objectives that we probably won't break the level. So we have to do... We have to do... <laughs> Uh-oh. Because we, we didn't get any objectives. I didn't think that was possible. We got so unlucky with that. It has to be a rape, though. I, like, unless we got absolutely bamboozled. It has to be a raid. Or we... Oh, no, it's fine. It chased me out the door, man. It's gotta be. It is a wraith. Welcome now, back. let's see. How close here. are we? Did we make it? We did make it! Never mind. Wait, you get that much experience from just getting the ghost on Nightmare? That's insane. Okay, perfect. We landed on it. We beat the game. Now, let's check some stats. Because that was an interesting ghost. Eight ghost events. In, we were in the ghost room a lot here. Very, very talkative ghost on the paramic. We had the absolute perfect... That salt came in clutch, man. Without that salt, we would have been stuck for a long time. We would have had to do a yokai test, which the yokai test basically requires you to do tons of hunts and get away from them safely. It's a really hard thing to distinguish during a hunt. Uh, Banshee would have had to do lots more paramic holding. Now, Banshee, I kind of ruled out because the Banshee screams a ton. The Banshee scream, by the way, I'll let you hear it here for a moment. If you haven't heard it before, it has a very distinct, very distinct sound. Let me get it over here. This one. Well, that one, if you hear that, that's a banshee. We didn't hear that a single time. Um, and then besides that, we knew it wasn't a phantom because we got the photo. We knew it wasn't a gym because it turned off the breaker sometimes. These are the things you're looking for. Very fun game. Challenging game. Voodoo Doll actually came in super nicely uh, with the, like, placing a motion sensor right above the dots and then using the Voodoo Doll as it triggers the motion sensor. Because the, so basically the Voodoo Doll, how it works is it has three phases that it checks. First, it checks if it can touch a door. If it can, it, it, there's a 60% chance that it'll touch a door. If it doesn't do that, moves to the next uh, bracket. In that bracket, it has a 50% chance to interact with evidence. If it doesn't do that, it moves to the last bracket where it will always try to interact with an object by throwing it, but it can currently only do the throwing if the light is off. So if you're using, if you want to get throws, turn off the lights. But yeah, that was a nice run. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know what you thought. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, dislike it. If you want to join, love the gamers here in chat. If you join us over at twitch.tv slash ensign every single day at 7 p.m. Century P. Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Can't believe we actually did that. We got three motion sensors and like one evidence item on nightmare mode, and we actually did it. Very nice. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye.